All right, guys. So um, we have already deployed this onto the uh, GitHub. All right, guys. Welcome back to a new video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy React app to GitHub. So how are we uh, going to actually do that? I'm going to show you uh, how to do that step by step. So um, before getting started, now let's have a look at what we did um, from last video. So in last video, uh, we went through uh, how to load from the JSON file and also the array, which is from the um, previous uh, videos, uh, as well as this as well. So uh, before getting started, now let's have a look on the GitHub page here. So this is the uh, source code that I have uh, pushed and put it under the GitHub account. So this is the link here. And I also put this into the video description as well. So if you want to download or you want to have a look what uh, we've done so far, you can just go and see in under this link. And I'll also put this in the description um, so you can uh, see as well. And now um, let's have a look into this article. So this is the article that described about the deploying React application to GitHub pages. So um, what does it mean by that? All right, so um, normally when we try to uh, run our application locally, you can already see that it says localhost 3000. But uh, the thing is that when we have this, when we copy it and paste it, um, say we send it to a friend, or someone who want to see what we've done so far, we cannot do it because this is like on, only on the local machine, not uh, for the other to see it. So this is the reason why we want to deploy the application as seen here to a link, which is the GitHub link. And someone have access to that link, they can already see what is happening there. So this article is um, telling us how to deploy that app to uh, GitHub pages uh, in less than five minutes. Also, I'm um, discussing about the React uh, GitHub here. So, um, I got another video as well, how to actually uh, push all the code onto the GitHub. And that video also, I will input it into the um, video description. Uh, that once I teach you how to actually use source tree to um, push it onto the GitHub, even though it that uh, video is not about pushing the React code to the uh, GitHub, but that's quite similar to uh, what we are going to use. You, uh, if you have any question about how to use Source Tree or how to push the code to GitHub, you can just ask me in the uh, comment sections. All right, so now let's get back here. You can see that uh, the this is all the step, and uh, this is what the author got. He actually got a link to his GitHub. So to do that, uh, we actually just need to have all of this uh, install the uh, GH or stand for GitHub pages uh, using NMP or Yarn. And here are the steps. So now, um, before getting into this, let's have a look at the other article as well. So in this article, it's quite similar to the previous one. It's just that this one describe more in detail and it say what react is and also this is uh, the git uh, github github pages which is the one we are going to install and we already had this because um we already had our uh, app running here so that's why also for the uh, github all the code is here so we already done all this step and uh, this is just the uh, code editor, and this is the git, which is easy to install. Um, just install it uh, as normal, and then um, we had this. So here is the um, steps that to create a new uh, React app. We had this as well. So right now, here it says, uh, just going to the run it. So I already finished this step as well. That's fine. Um, right here, which is the create uh, a new Git repository. So uh, this is using the command line, the command prompt, uh, git init. 
and add all the code coming from the local. And finally, we commit all of that with the comment of initial commit. So that's how we're going to push it into uh, the GitHub. And then um, right here, it say the add order into the branch. So uh, git remote of this tree, and we're going to add that which is this uh this link and push the local repository to the remote one which is on the github and the next step here is the step that we are going to follow um for now um let's get started because um i want to also show you how to actually uh, download git as well so because we already had this installed and discuss we also discussed like how to uh, install some of the extension but we haven't really go into uh, like git all of this installation. So here it prompt me to whether I want to uh, download and install git or not. And right now I just uh, click on this. Otherwise, if you can't, don't see this um, uh, pop up, you can just search for git and download it as normal on the website or reset it that as well. And now let me press on the download git. All right, so um, basically it's also uh, linked me to the official website, so that's good. The one that I'm looking for, which is just Git. Uh, right here, window version. And right now it's starting. I'm going to pause the video and we'll be back when this finish is downloading. All right, um, I get some... Uh, take some time to also show you uh, what is this. So before we install the git, you can see that no source control provider register. So that means we haven't installed the git uh, onto the machine. So after installing that, you're going to see some things here and also the way that we see this uh, line of code also different as well. It's show you like the difference that you just may change and what's not and that's very um, useful as well so here i'm going to install the git So here it's fine. Alright, so after installing that, now let's go back here and here's what's saying what changed and what's not. So right now when I press something or type something new, you can already see that this line showing that it is just added. And we can also press on this link to see uh, what previously is. And you can see that this is the one change that we just created, which is the uh, the green color. And what about if I try to delete two of this? And you will also see that we just remove this with uh, indicate in the red color. So this is quite useful that uh, having the git installed on your um, machines for the this purpose. Okay, so now let's get back. Um, we're going to follow this article, which is uh, a little bit more detail than the first one, but you can just follow uh, any of this uh, as you like. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to install the uh, gh-pages. Uh, I'm going to open my comment prompt and install nmp install okay so before doing that i need to navigate to my uh, project directory so it stay under react.js and nmp install save g8 pages 
Right now, I try to install all the EWP dependency. Okay, so we had this installed. Right now, what we are going to do next is that we just need to modify or edit the package.json file uh, of the projects by adding the following statement, which is a statement that I highlighted right here. So we can also see right here. Um, so here is the JSON uh, the, uh, package the JSON. So you can see also see that uh, after installing the uh, library, we can see this is what just added with the green color. So we're going to add this line of code, which is the home page, and specify the uh, project directory. So we're going to add home also with the link. Let me just copy this and inside the double quote. So this is your username. We have your username. So this is mine right here. Copy it here. And also this is your repository name. So my repository name is react.js. So, all right, we've done this. What about the next step? Let's see. Um, we also need to add this as well, which is uh, redeploy and mp build and this is deployed. So just copying this. All right, so here's what changes inside this uh, package.json. I added this. Um, the home directory with the name, also the link github.io, and this is the repository name. Also, here is the uh, command I just added, np run build, uh, gh dust pages dust d, and space build. Right now, what we are going to do, we just need to uh, type this command under the command prompt. So I'm going to do NMP run deploy. Now I try to build or create the folder. Right, so you will see something like this, which is um, published. Now we're going to access that link. So here I added the JSON uh, package.json and also I install the so I'm gonna say here in my so install pages library and I'm going to commit and push it under the react drop down json part 3 right push so when you notice you can also see that from the origin uh, or under the remote uh, repository so after we are doing the deployed uh, nmp run deploy it automatically push uh, this coming uh, to the GitHub and right now we're going to also check out this and see what it's like coming to our local machine. All right, so right now we are in here and now let's go back to our studio code and we can see that this is all coming from the um, so this is all the file coming from. Alright guys, so um, we have already deployed this onto the uh, github.io as you can see here. So uh, anyone coming from or with this link, they can also access that. So I'm going to test that for you guys to see uh, if it's actually working. So I'm going to open my incognito browser and hit enter. So you can see that everything that we have done so far actually um, display onto this link. 
and this is how we actually deploy um, React application onto uh, GitHub. It's quite simple with uh, a few of steps as you can see uh, I already did that and before ending this video I'm going to also show you so here you can see that um, this is the GitHub uh, from the Facebook itself and they actually having uh, deployed onto uh, github.io as well so when I click on this you can see that everything that they have built actually deployed under the github.io which is uh, the one that I just uh, pushed it onto this as well so uh, it's very cool and uh, we can do a lot of things with this and if you want to just showcase everyone that uh, what you've done and you don't need to really thinking about how to uh, purchase the hosting server and stuff and that gonna cost you a lot more and you can just use this um, also here is another uh, article talking about how to actually deploy this with react as well and there's one note that you might find interesting which is uh, down here that for routing um, if you actually using this package I'm going to open this and this is quite popular for react uh, for navigating between pages and uh, uh, using the react JS so you can see that weekly downloads has already more than 1 million almost 2 million and uh, we're going into this as well but uh, not within this tutorial and you can see that uh, it is quite important to use hash uh, router uh, so that we can navigate to different pages the reason that we use hash uh, router because uh, if we don't use this there's going to be an issue with uh, zero uh, 404 or page doesn't exist that's a reason why that we need to use this if we want to host our application onto github and we will also look into this uh, in detail and I will put a link in uh, the video description that you can have a look if you have already um, made some uh, application with the uh, navigation and stuff like this okay so uh, one thing to note is that um, I previously add this as home but not home page and you remember that to uh, you remember that to put it as home page but not just home and once you may change to this what you are going to do navigate to your uh, react projects and run uh, NMP run build again and you're gonna see your uh, deployment under this uh, github.io all right so um this video uh gonna be it and hope you guys learn something from this video all right so see you guys in the next video and i'm going to cover something that is interesting regarding uh, react.js